everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing what's in my school bag. And this is my school bag in question and this is the Longchamp Le Pliage Large Shopper. Um, that's quite a bit of a mouthful to say but it's in the black tote um, with the long handles. I bought this bag as an investment because before I've had bags that have broken on me because I carry so many things. I like to carry a lot of things because it just makes me have peace of mind that I'm prepared for the day and so that if any accidents happen I have plasters ready, I have uh, girly things ready and I just have enough pens and pencils to last me uh, throughout the week and I replenish my stocks and stuff um, on the weekend. Anyway, I think it was £70 for the bag itself. I bought this from Selfridges online and I think it was £4.95 for the uh, shipping. I think it's worth it. Touch um, wood because it hasn't broken on me yet and I'm hoping that it's going to last me a very long time as it is quite expensive for what it is. I mean, it's just a nylon bag with leather handles, le leather straps and the um, opening here but you can fold it up and turn it into a shopper. The material isn't what you'd normally pay for, um, you'd normally invest in something else but anyway it's a lightweight bag. I really like the design of it as well because it's just so um, simple and classic, that's what I wanted as well. I didn't want to get bored of my bag because I normally do get really bored of the bag that I carry or it doesn't go with something that I'm wearing that day and because it's black it just generally will go with everything. Okay let's get started about the inside of the bag so it is quite big compared to me. Okay so in here from yesterday I wore a bobbly hat um, and I haven't cleared out the bag so bobbly hat from Primark and this was two pounds I think um I have a Kath Kidston um pouch and in here I carry hair bands I carry period pads I carry tampons I carry plasters I carry paracetamol I carry allergy tablets I carry my Bobbi Brown um face powder yeah that's what i carry in this pouch for just in case i'm just such a just in case person because you never know what's going to happen to you on that day so that's what's in that pouch um i might start with like the first compartment instead of doing the big compartment first which i've just dived into um i might just do this little um compartment that you have at the front and it's the only compartment in the bag really so it could do with a few more pockets, but that's okay. So I have my hand sanitizer because when it comes to lunchtime or when I'm dealing with uh, any medical stuff, um, I just like my hands to be clean. Sometimes there aren't any soap in the toilets, which is really bad in college. But yeah, so this is just from Bath and Body Works and this is the Paris Amour fragranced one and it's yeah just hand gel and because I've got a cold at the moment and my throat gets really sore and I cough a lot in college um I've got these cough sweets and these are the fisherman's friend um menthol and eucalyptus flavored lozenges they don't look very nice and they don't taste that amazing but they do the job I have my ID badge uh which I need to use when I uh, scan into college um, if the doors aren't already automatically opened. Then I have two lipsticks, actually. Okay, one liquid lipstick, and this is the Revolution Salvation Velvet Lip Lacquer in the shade Velvet Rebel. And I wore this on Wednesday, I think it was, and it sits quite comfortably on the lips. I have Mac Shy Girl, which I absolutely adore. I think it's just a really good everyday peach kind of nudie shade really easy to wear and chuck on the lips and then I have another favorite of mine which I always get compliments on and it's the Essence Velvet Matte Lipstick in the shade 08 and since I've got a cold as well my nose gets stuffy and so I have a Vicks nasal inhaler stick thing it's just you just stick that up your nose and give it a sniff every once in a while uh, just to open up your airways and then I have some Mentos um, gum, and this is the sugar-free 
So this is peppermint flavor. Just chuck any gum that we have in the house really in my bag. And then I have some rose and almond oil Vaseline. That's my favorite one because it is tinted and just smells quite nice. That's that compartment done now. I wish you could see um, better. Maybe if I sit a bit backwards. Okay, into the main compartment now. I have this pouch which I get out nearly every single lesson, depends on how organized I am for the day. And this pouch is looking a bit worse for wear now, it's seen better days. And it's the Paper Chase A4 zipper file and it was £1.50. And in here I just keep my documents, um, my timetable. So today I have a lesson at 50 past 12. Um, and that's biology and that's my only lesson um, hence why I can film this at this um, in the morning and then I let me just, oh. then at the front as well I have my pencil case and this is also from Pe Paper Chase I have a few highlighters I have a Jack Wills pen I have some Paper Mate pens because they're my favorite and then I have a Paper Chase sharpener um, a calculator for economics and biology yeah I should probably tell you what I take I take economics biology and sociology at A level and then I have some post-it notes, my timetable and these are really cheap and easy notebooks and these are just the Wilco A4 ruled uh, refill pads with the margin. I like these just because they're so cheap. Then I have my economics essay book, that was from yesterday and note paper that um, our teachers give out like worksheets and this is for sociology about globalization so i like to just whip out this folder every single time because it has my stationery it has my paper that i need it has um my subject um work in it as well so that's just easy to grab and take out and then we come into oh okay so inside the bag i have a handbag tidy from primark and it was £2.50 but it's also black and it just sits inside the um, the main area of the bag. In here I have the essentials that I need for the day for just in case. So in the first section I carry an umbrella just because the weather is so unpredictable and sometimes it does rain and you're not prepared for that. But I am. <laughs> All my friends know that I always carry an umbrella and for the umbrella I carry just a loose um, clear plastic bag because when your umbrella is wet you're not always able to dry it freely and so I like to just stick the wet umbrella <laughs> into the bag and then I can just throw that into my bag and know that it's not going to leak out any water into my school stuff. Then I have my purse, this purse has a lot of compartments and it's from Topshop um, and it's just in this like crocodile type texture it has all my cards and it has my money in it um and i should keep my uh id badge in one of these pockets really but i'm gonna need it later to get into college i have my sunglasses these are the key australia sunglasses and these are the tortoise 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 uh shell sunglasses um in the style on the prowl I really like them just because they're so big and because I have a big face it's good to have big oversized sunglasses and then in here because we have to pay for our bags and shops and stuff I always carry a bag and this just happens to be a top shop one yeah so I'm prepared for if I need to go shopping after or before college I have another plastic bag um, I have a pair of socks just in case um, mine get really wet from the rain or something and I have something to change into. I have a power bank and this power bank is from Primark and I think this lasts one charge um, but sometimes you have to use your phones for like say Kahoot which is an online interactive game where you compete against your classmates and you have to answer stuff or sometimes I need my phone for work and um, I may use up quite a bit of battery and this is from Poundland actually and it's just a USB cable which I plug this into and connect it onto my phone. I have my lanyard which always um, lets go of my ID card so I don't really utilise that but it's just good to have it handy in my bag. 
has a small packet of tissues and these are just the Kleenex ones. And then in the other compartments on this side, I have two more packets of tissues because I just go through them like water, runny nose business. Um, I have hand cream. I really like this hand cream actually because it's quite um, hydrating yet yeah, it just sinks into your skin really easily. And it's the Garnier Intensive 7 Days Hydrating Hand Cream in the aloe vera one and it's just really nice. I like the smell as well because it's quite clean. And then over on this side I have a Charlie body fragrance spray thing but I use that when I go into the toilets because sometimes people take a dump in the toilet and it's not you that has cool smell and it's them. So I like to spray that in just before I go to the toilet just to freshen everything up for the next person because uh, I don't want them to think that I've done the dump because I don't do dumps in college. Um, and also I don't want them to think that I smell or anything. Um, so yeah. So also I have the Dove Invisible Dry um, Antiperspirant Deodorant just because any of my friends may need some deodorant throughout the day or I might need it just because of sweat and perspiration. That's the same thing, sweat and perspiration. Dude, what are you on about? Anyway, yeah, so it's just good to have that in the bag. Oh my gosh, I swear. I keep on finding new things. Okay, so I have a Zara Black Eau de Toile Rollerball. Again, with the smelly thing. I like to smell good at all times. So I just like to top up throughout the day with this as well. I have a MUA matte lipstick in the shade Fawn Fancy. I'd wonder of where this had gone because this is actually my work shade of lipstick that I like to wear for work. So I can put that back into my makeup collection. And then lastly, we have some uh, wet wipes. And these are the wet ones, the original and number one, Be Cute Delicate 12 antibacterial wipes. And these are perfect for your handbag because they're a small packet. And just in case you might, um, if um, someone spilled something down on you, or you've spilled something down on you, you can just use these to wipe up really easily. Okay. So that's like pretty much um, nearly empty. I have two receipts. Um, okay, let me see. Savers. Oh, I bought loads of like cold and flu things. <laughs> Um, Asda, I bought loads of fruit and yoghurt and noodles um, and clementine satsuma thing that I should have eaten yesterday but I just didn't. Um, a water bottle because it's good to stay hydrated especially when you're in college. Um, I have loads of coughing fits so it's good to hydrate my throat. Oh, and I think that's the last thing. I usually carry the authenticity card um, in the bag, but I don't see the point in doing that anymore. So yeah, and I have a 50p as well. So that's what's in my school bag. Um, I should run through like, so when it's all flattened down and stuff, it just doesn't take up a lot of room because it's lightweight as well. Um, it doesn't add to much weight um, when you're carrying loads of stuff like I do. And I also carry my MacBook Pro, which is quite heavy. Um, not as heavy as other laptops, but um, with this bag, you think it's gonna like all fall out and break and all the handles are gonna snap, but it has seemed to like withhold that weight. I, I've really enjoyed using this bag. This is what it looks like against my body. Um, I should move the chair. So, yeah. So this um, part you can just do up at the button and this is what it looks like when I carry things around. Well, there's nothing in it at the moment, but it just looks a bit more bulky. And because it's black, it goes with everything. And it's just that simple classic style that I don't think will ever go out of fashion. And it's quite an iconic style, to be honest. Um, I, com I complimented someone um, at work the other day because they had one and they were just saying that how they um, had it for years. Um, it was a customer and they've had theirs for years. They've gone through so much with it. Um, and so, I just fall in love with this bag every more, every more, every day, um, and it's just so lovely. I really like it. And on the back, it does say, um, 
Come on. Focus. It says long shop, le pliage shopping, and it says model depots. Yeah, that's what it says on the back. And let me just give you a close up on the logo. Yeah, I really love this bag and I highly recommend it if you like to carry stuff, um, lots of stuff. If you like to carry all of those things. I don't carry my phone in my bag. I carry it in whatever pockets I have on my jacket. And um, I have the iPhone 6. Uh, yeah, so that concludes my bag. Uh, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I haven't done a bag video in ages and I've wanted to film this one for a long time now. Um, but we've only just gotten to college and this is our second half of our term in, I think. We've just had half term, so yeah. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. I hope you like this video. Bye. Oh, and another note about it that I forgot to say, because in the um, inner lining of the bag, I think it is covered in this waterproof uh, material or like um, it's been soaked with something because the lining is uh, different towards the outside um, and I think it makes it waterproof. Um, I might be wrong, but the lady in Italy um, in the long shop actually told me the bag um, it's slightly waterproof and not 100% but I think it's held up really good in the rain and uh, none of my work gets wet touch wood um, yeah and also with the corners of it like getting holes and things um, I've seen a lot of that and that's why that's one of the reasons why I was like skeptical skeptical of buying the bag um, but I thought about um, ways of trying to prevent that from happening and i bought some clear nail varnish and i just covered the corners and that um to prevent it from getting damaged so yeah top tip and yeah bye